Howdy folks, TJ here. Have a little bit of an unboxing to do today. Uh, thank you very much, Dave Anderson uh, from the Timex Sinclair Group. I've been part of that group from very early on when I started my Sinclair Explorations. Timex, actually, because here in USA, Timex was it. And uh, so I've been on that channel probably the longest out of all of them. And there's a gentleman on there that does a lot of TS-2068 stuff. And uh, he had posted that he was making a card that could actually plug into a TS-2068 and give it better video. Because on my videos, if you watched my first video I did of my 2068 boot up, video is pretty bad. And from what I read up to that point, the video was pretty bad on, on these particular computers, even through the composite port. A lot of ghosting and a lot of stuff. And these are really old computers, so maybe when it was brand new it was fine. But at the age of my computer, the video is not great. So, And I'm not at this point wanting to open this computer up and do a modification on it to do anything. So he was coming out with a board that could actually plug in and, and allow it to connect to an S-Video monitor. And said, hey, I'll send you one, see if it works for you. Kind of a neat little test. And and so I thought I would uh, do an unboxing, and then I'll do another video. Uh, well, actually, I'll tack it onto this one. I just have to... I'm really sleepy today. I just did a video for an unboxing, and I thought I'd do one more. And uh, so after I kind of wake myself up, I'm going to actually connect it to the computer and see if the video is better. And uh will be great because I really love the looks and the aesthetics and the keyboard of a, a TS-2068. I think it's much better than the... Um, uh, Spec 48 from the time, and with the proper twister board or uh, Sinclair Spectrum um, board that you can plug in the front, you can actually play m most of the games too. So maybe I'll use my uh, Timex more with the use of this device that I'm going to connect up to it. So let's go ahead and get this popped open. I kind of already, um, it, I think I have to cut one more thing here. Thought I cut these already. Apparently I didn't. There we go. <laughs> okay. So, number one. Again, thank you, David Anderson, for sending this to me. And I'll let you know how my testing goes. And I'll be doing a video so you'll get to see how it goes. He sent me an S-Video cable. Great. Because I don't think I have one around. My, I've got a couple of displays that have an S-Video port. So, this will be interesting to see if just out of the box, if this little card that he's created works. Okay, push this aside. And I'm doing my video at a little bit of a different angle. Seems like when I have the camera over there and this big uh, window back here, it makes everything dark. So I'm kind of doing it at an angle and see if the lighting comes in a little bit better. So you can see my pretty face. <laughs> Very well wrapped, lots of bubble wrap. Cool. And this is a board of his own creation. So it'll be interesting to see how it works. So, I'm going to take a look at it first before I show you. And I'm going to probably position that light so it shows better. So this is the side that's going to plug into the back of my 2068. And it looks like there's even a back expansion where you can plug in other stuff. So, let's position light in here. I'm going to look at the camera, make sure. Eh. That should work. Show you some close ups here. So here's the board. Looks like he's got uh, a little piggyback board here on top of a PC board that he's created. And there's all sorts of writing on here that says what each of these connections are going to be for. So that's quite helpful for a hacker that does those kind of things. I don't know if. Camera's picking that up or not, but you can see all the writing. So here's the back. Well, side, I should say. 
That's where, looks like, uh, what's that one going to be? So RGB S video. So I'm looking at this cable here. So this side here is where I'm going to actually connect the S video cable into. And I'm guessing this side is a composite RGB type of port where you can also connect it that way. Kind of cool. So I guess there's two options. Dave, you can correct me if I'm wrong on that, but it looks like both S-Video and Composite. Um, so I can try both of them, I, I guess. Here's the back of the board. But you guys probably want to see the front. So that is it. So I'm going to try plugging it into my TS-2068. To my knowledge, it's the only computer that would utilize this. And um, let's see if TimexSinclair.com is the website. He does a lot of, uh, Dave does a lot of cool documentation, uh, scans of magazines, books, newsletters, all that stuff. So I definitely recommend checking out uh, all those scans that he does. Quite helpful for those in the community. So cool. So that's it on the unboxing. Thanks for watching that part. And I'll come back to you with a video to see how it looks. Thanks. Wanted to quickly show you actually, rather than you have to go watch my first video I did, which of course, please do, uh, but uh, I just went ahead and connected directly to the back of my TS-2068, a regular RCA type of jack cable over from the monitor port on the back of the computer to my display, so not using the new S-Video card, just so you can see what the video looks like on my end. Look at how dirty that is. The blue kind of looks blue, lots of lines, um, just really, you know, icky video. Uh, let's go ahead and just start a game quick. Everything's fuzzy. So I think you'll get the picture. So now wait for what the video is going to look like when I plug in this new S video card. All right, cool. All right, it's time to go ahead and try the um, S video card. I went ahead and plugged it into the back expansion port on my TS2068. Uh, actually, this says Timex Command Cartridge. I'm gonna be using one today, and I'm gonna be using Crazy Bugs. That's the game. That's the only game I have on cartridge. And I've got a joystick plugged in, a nice Epix um, 500XJ. And again, this is the uh, Timex Sinclair 2068. Card plugged into the back. S-Video cable going from here to my TV that offers uh, S-Video capability. So I've already actually tried it right before doing this video because I wanted to kind of tinker with it a little bit, make sure it worked. And it does, and it works really nice. Only problem that I'm running into is it appears that maybe my power supply for my TS-2068, being quite old as it is, even without this card, I get a little bit of a rippling effect in the video. And um, so I may need to explore getting a new power supply uh, and to make everything perfect. But this is a step up. Uh, you'll see that uh, in my original video I did on this uh, um playing Crazy Bugs back when I started doing my Sinclair stuff, uh, video was pretty crappy. Lots of haze and fuzz and all sorts of stuff in it. Now with this card, it works really nice. Nice, vibrant blue color. So I plugged in my cartridge. Let's go ahead and uh, turn on the TV. Need to turn on my power supplies back here. All right, so uh, do I have the power supply plugged in? I think so. Nope. <laughs> Silly boy. Now I should be good. So I'm going to actually adjust this video here a little bit and point it right at the TV. shift it just a little bit all right 
There we go. So, comparing that to my original video, definitely much different. Um, but as you'll see, kind of, I got the, um, and uh, I asked somebody that knows these computers well, I've uh, got some shimmering here. But overall, the actual video is much better than it used to be. So kind of cool. I'm just going to go ahead and play a quick game and then explore getting a new power supply that hopefully will make my uh, TS2068 a fun computer to use uh, because the video will be much better. Kind of a fun game, kind of a Pac-Man type of game. And the object is to get enough of these little gifty things here or whatever to uh, open up a door to the next level. Oh, that's a hard one. Uh, Oh, uh, there's the door. Oh! Oh, sh... Uh. Come on, you can do it! Yay! So I think you've got the gist of it. So... Video quality, much better. If I can get rid of these ripples with a new power supply, great. Uh, but the content looks much crisper and better than uh, regular composite connection. So this uh, board also has a composite uh, out port. I may try that one just to kind of see if I get similar video. Uh, but anyway, I think that's it for this video and I'll uh, go from there.